Long start one. This is our first of two forerunners before moving into run number two of our exciting woman. Track is clear to start one for our second floor runner. Shady too. Entering the ladder. Close to Benham's bench. Coming through the chicane. Now into the heart. Through 18. Coming up 19. Sliding through 20. And crossing the finish line. Final day of sliding in the BMW IBS Hemp Obsolete and Skeleton World Cup Series for 2023-2024. And we're in Lake Placid on a snowy Saturday. The heavens opened this morning and snow continues to blow around the Lake Mount Van Hovenberg venue here in Lake Placid, two-time Olympic venue, as we get ready for the final run of women's bobsleigh. Well, in third place, first sled out of the shed this morning. Great Britain's Adele Nicholl and Kaya Placide. 
And it is the Brits who are currently preventing an all-German podium sweep. Nice clean run from Adele, benefiting from a good early spritz and some very neat lines and a good start as well. The world champion Lisa Puppet with Lauren Siebert behind her. They had the fastest start of all. And they currently lie in second position. Just 600s ahead of Adele Nickel. And at the head of a very tight group of six sleds. But a long way clear out front, Kim Kalicki and Leonie Phoebe. Kalicki looking to take the second spot in the overall season standings. And back up her result last season, a bronze medal with a win here. Look at the margin, 41 hundreds, first to second. And then from Lisa Bookwitz back to maybe Melanie Hassler in six. That's where our final two podium positions are going to come from. And I think basically you can probably toss those up in the air and see who comes down. Behind, there is some close battle as well. Bianca Ribby, Andrea Greco, just a couple of hundreds apart. 500s behind, Cynthia Appiah. And on this track, a few hundreds is nothing. A couple of tenths you can easily give away with one mistake or maybe two. Well, the snow continues to fall. Means that the air temperature hovering around minus three. It's actually a little colder than it was yesterday afternoon, but warmer than yesterday morning. It does mean that the parking lot and the area where the athletes warm up is now covered in nice, messy slush. So not the uh, greatest of warm-up areas. Lenny Phoebe there, she'll be going last with Kim Kilicki. There's Melly Hasler. And a view down in Shady 2. Lots of fans on hand watching the action on this snowy Saturday. And you can see lots of snow still coming down. Snow plows working on all the uh, access roads. And they'll be working all the way through town as well. In reverse order, our 15 sleds will go off with the leader heading off last. Victoria Chinanska will be first off. Head of the USA, Sylvia Hoffman and Riley Tetschak. They're in the battle. Bianca Ribby, Cynthia Appiah, Keisha Love and Alana Myers-Taylor for the Pan Am Championship. North and South American and Caribbean nation sleds. So that's all to deal with as well. Final run of the season now for women's bobsleigh. We're in Lake Placid, New York. Martin Haven watching the action with you as Victoria Chinanska and Lucia Makrosova for Slovakia come to the line. Final run of the year for them. Unless they stay here for a little postseason training or head somewhere else. Altenburg, Innsbruck maybe. Here we go then, 581 their first start. And for Victoria and for Lucia, a 14th World Cup race to round out their second season in the World Cup. 583, only a whisker slower. Nicely out of corner two, down to three. Little tap on the left, comes off square. All nice so far. Well, they're in a rented BPC sled. Was making funny chattering noises in the first heat, still is. It's like something is flapping on the underside. Oh, a little late from 12 to 13. Down through the chicane, gets a good run through the chicane. Very nice indeed from Victoria Chinanska. Out of 19 and climbing through the right-handed corner, 20 up to the finish line. Ducks ahead for extra hundreds, 59-26. That was three tenths slower than her first heat. But her season is completed. So Victoria Chinanska, the 21-year-old from Slovakia, 29-year-old break woman. Lucia's birthday is on Wednesday next week, so I'm sure she'll get to spend it at home with family, which is quite nice. And of course then, Easter. Well, not a bad looking run. She was a little uncomfortable 12 to 13. Chicane went well for her though. Just got that little steer in as they were starting to come from Benham's Bend up over the hill. 
and her season is done and dusted. 15th place here, no worse than. Next up, our debutante, Sylvia Hoffman, with Sydney Milani behind her in only her second World Cup bobsleigh start. Meet a debut in Sigilda with Alana Myers Taylor. Olympic bronze medalist, great woman, Sylvia Hoffman. Her first World Cup drive in a bobsleigh. 558 getaway, that's a decent start. But Sylvia. Like Keisha Love has been learning to drive in the last couple of seasons. This is her first run in the World Cup. Better speed than Victoria Chivanska. Through Shady 2, dropping down into the labyrinth, 11. And then this 12-13 crossover, that's a little more comfortable than the first heat. Should have better speed on board. 128-1, that's very quick. That's already 79.6 miles an hour. They're still accelerating down into the heart. Then they start to climb on their way out. Out through 20, 57, 79. One hundredth off her first heat. Well, that's the consistency that you need to develop as a driver. Once you start being consistent, then you can start to iron out the mistakes. Well, Sylvia Hoffman makes her World Cup debut as a driver, having competed in 15 World Cup races as a brake woman. And the Olympic bronze medal with Alana Myers-Taylor. So, a whole new saga begins. There's Sydney on the left. Now then, next up is our third sled, Riley Tichek for the USA with Jasmine Jones behind her. Jazz is a jack of all trades. She has braked for a number of different sleds, a number of different drivers, and been in the commentary box as well. So Riley, her sixth World Cup, her first of the season. See from the sharp ridge on the sled, it's one of the older BMW sleds she's using. It was 20th in the World Championships in Winterberg a couple of weeks ago. Ninth place here last year, along with a ninth in Park City at the beginning of last season, are her two best World Cup results. Better speed than we saw from her teammate Sylvia Hoffman. Now, can she move up the order? A couple of tenths of an improvement will bring her into the top ten, not far away from where she was last year. Marine Corps officer has had a, a less than focused season this season. Not getting quite as many runs in as she would have liked, but this is looking nice for my Tichek. Does not get to the line. No, she doesn't. 57.95. Couldn't quite get there to overhaul Sylvia Hoffman. So she slips back a spot. Well, she'll be disappointed with that. But she hasn't had a lot of run repetition this season. She's been working with the military a lot in the last 12 months. So Bob Slaying has had to take a little bit of a back seat for Riley Tecek. And started 5.82. So second fastest came down, second fastest so far as well. Not a bad looking run through the chicane. One for Andrea Gregu. All right. Disappointed to lose the spot, Riley, but that's the break sometimes. Next up for Romania, Andrea Greco and Teodora Vlad. Andrea's 63rd bobsleigh start in the World Cup. A 46th as a driver, and Teodora has been with her for 21 of those, nearly half of all the races that she started. 5.67 getaway. First race on this track for Andrea. We had Erika Halei behind her. 
two or three great women over the years. Beatrice Pugh as well. And Theodora has been her regular first call great woman in the last three or four seasons. Two tenths up, second best speed. It's a good getaway as well, 567. That's quicker than their first heat. Hung up a little late on 12, but escape without too much drama. She's good in the chicane. She's very good in the chicane. Still second best speed, quarter of a second up. Building that advantage over Sylvia Hoffman. Aiming for a top 10 finish. Across the line, 57-71. Now that's 1,800 slower than her first heat, but their season is done. All the other girls there. Oh, she's lost a bit of something. Is that maybe Teodora's visor or a, a tear off on the front of her visor to stop it misting up? Out of Shady, too. Out of Benham's Bend here through the chicane. She lines it up nicely, avoids hitting the wall on both sides. Tiniest little skid going down into 19, 17 rather, but. Uh, Good stuff. Andrea Greco on the left, Teodora Vlad on the right. Just outside the top ten, Bianca Ribby and Neve Hockey for Canada. They were only a few hundreds ahead of the Romanian duo and only five hundreds of tenth place. So in that position where they could really benefit from cleaning up a couple of errors in the first heat. 14th World Cup start for both women. And 13 have been together. Only one of Neve starts with Cynthia Pia. Bianca Ribby also did a World Cup as a great woman in her earlier career. 572 start exactly the same as they had in the first heat. Little square hit out of three into the Devil's Highway. 8-9, that's a nice but smoother transition than some we've seen. And that'll hold the speed. Fourth best speed. Was 300s back at the start. He's gone out to a tenth behind. Not a bad chicane. Second best speed. So she's holding that deficit. But does she have anything to show to Andrea Greco? 900s back. It's all about how much speed they kept through the heart. Doesn't get there. 57-83. So slip back behind Andrea Greco. Greco moves up. And looking for a top 10 finish, Andrea. Well, Bianca Ribby was fourth place here last year, the beginning of last season. And this year, she lies in second with 10 still to come. Not the progression she would have liked to have seen. There's a good view of corner 17. That first big left-hander in the heart. Andrea Greco, Bianca Ribby, Sylvia Hoffman, your top three, 10 to go in the season. Final race, BMW IBSF Women's Bobstay World Cup. Martin Haven watching the action with you. And Lake Placid, New York. Tenth off the first of our two heats, Cynthia Appiah. And late replacement, Morgan Ramsey. Morgan, the 24-year-old in only her second World Cup start. There, Walker then was pulled out with a hamstring injury. And Morgan, her previous race was... Uh, in Altenburg with Cynthia, where she was also a race morning substitute. They start 5.77, started 5.76 in the first heat. Nice looking run so far. She had a great day yesterday in the monobob. Second best speed. A tenth back now. Can she bring it down? She needs a clean chicane. Not bad. Double tap. Best speed of all. 79.8 miles an hour. A hundredth in it. Will she be in front? She should be. 
she is by three hundreds. <laughs> Linda Rush always has something to say. Justin Grips tends to be uh, a little quieter there in the leader's box. Leah Walkenden was due to race today, but uh, a bit of a hamstring strain. And so Morgan Ramsey gets the call up. Morgan in the back seat. She get bounced around, not too much eight to nine. Tall figure as Cynthia Appier, you often see her head rattling around. There's Morgan on the right of your picture. Cynthia there. All right, guaranteed a top 10 finish, but she was only a tenth behind Katy Bile and Anna Schenk of Austria. Katy Bile celebrating her 50th World Cup start today. Ice Ice Baby. Yeah. Behind her, Anna Schenk, her fourth World Cup start for Austria after five for Italy. She also started a four-man World Cup race for Austria, so I guess this is her fifth World Cup start for Austria. Nice and clean so far. Maybe a little just skidding between two and three. 568, starting quicker than Cynthia after as well. That doesn't hurt. Thirty-three hundred up. This is a really nice looking run so far from Catty Bile. Look at that, straight through the chicane. Might like she's Stephen Holcomb or something. Fifth best speed coming into the heart, but that'll carry her all the way up. From 3,300 up to 2,300 up. She will be in front at the line. 1,700, 57, 68. Her previous best on this track, 12th position. Back in December 2019, in both races then, she will be no worse than ninth. So a big PB here to round out her first season back. Yes. Nice stuff, Catty Bile. Good view there of that late height that you need to carry in Shady 2. And this is the view going away from Benham's Bend down into the chicane. Just the tiniest little drift over the brow, but look at the runners are straight. Just a little nudge right under the feet there. Good stuff. Catty Bile on the left, Anna Schenk on the right. Next up, eighth after the first heat, Brianna Walker, yesterday's monobob winner for the very first time, and Kira Rodingius. I'm sure there will be big celebrations tonight from the Aussies and Pierre Luders. You never know, he might even shout a few in. 24th World Cup start for Bree, 13th for Kira. Three monobob races here last year and this month for Brianna Walker, 561 getaway, started 559 in the first heat. Well, she shows remarkable presence of mind yesterday in the monobob. Narrow leader after the first heat, just blew them out of the water in the second. Steely determination not to allow the gold medal to slip from her grasp for a second time this season. And it really worked. Fifth best speed. Not quite as quick as you'd like to be. 1700s up though over Catty Bile. Gets a good chicane as well. Still fifth best speed. Still 1600s up. It's going to be close at the line, but she should have enough. Seems to go on forever from the chicane. Across the line, 1500s up. Big smiles from Pierre Luders. It's been a very important weekend for Brianna Walker. Ends the season with a monobob goal, the first of her World Cup career. She's got more than a dozen monobob wins in other disciplines or in other categories, but not in World Cup. She finally put that to rights yesterday morning. It's a good way to round out the season. 
first World Cup weekend here. She's had one, two previous NAC weekends. Raced in monobobs a couple of weeks ago, just getting a ride back in, and that undoubtedly has helped. Seven to go as we get to Keisha Love. Well, arguably, oh, possibly no argument about it, the rookie of the season this year, Keisha Love, in monobob and in women's bobsleigh. She's been a two-time winner in the mono. She's had a medal as well in women's bobsleigh. In Lillehammer, took the bronze. Let's see what she can do here. Five five zero. That's a very quick start. Five forty nine was the fastest in the first heat from Lisa Bookwitz and Lauren Siebert. Keisha Love is going to be a very difficult rival as she learns to drive more and more because she is still going to get faster and faster. Still only twenty six. Lana Myers Taylor. 39 years of age and shows that there is plenty of longevity and career for a woman's box sledder if you want it and even if you have a family. And Keisha Love driving to Burby, oh, just clips the wall and she came, gets the skid going. But 3,600 up on Brianna Walker. Most of that will hold to the line. Should be two tenths clear, maybe more. 2,700. That was three tenths slower than her first heat, but that is a really good shout for a top six finish. And she is likely to be the silver medalist at worst in the Pan Am Championships as well. This is being held for the first time ever with this World Cup weekend. Down into the chicane, she came long and left out of Benham's Bend. Just got that tiniest snag on the wall through the sled, sled sideways. But a good final day in the office for Keisha Love. Azaria Hill along with her. They are the leaders with six to go. So for a place on the wider podium, Melanie Hassler and Mara Morell. Familiar faces up at the top of the track. Kaylee Humphreys was there yesterday watching. I'm sure she's around somewhere. Lauren Gibbs there as well. We saw in the break. Let's see what they've got. 5.57, the first start for Mel Hassler and Mara Morell. 5.56, they find a little more. Watch the little trip from two, one to two. Out of three, little tap. Tap going into four as well. And down into Devil's Highway, into corner five and six. And then seven, the left-hander. Eight to nine, that quick transition. Into Shady two. And dropping down into corner 11, 12, 13, the lower labyrinth. 12 and 13 transition has been a tricky one all week. Bounces through the chicane, but second best speed. She's coming back to within a hundredth. She should have enough to take her across the line comfortably in front for a top six finish. She does. 57-3-0. So she denies a top six potentially to Keisha Love. But Melly Hassler and Mara Morell will be no worse than sixth. Finished in sixth place here last year. Last season in December 2022. And they are still in the top six. Been a really strong season for Melanie Hassler. Fourth place in the overall standings. Ooh, Disappointing seventh in the world championships. But three, two podiums this year as well for her. Right. She leads with the final five sleds to go. <laughs> Alana Myers Taylor, two time winner on this track. And the only driver in the field to have won on the front handles. 
It's M&M day today. Emily Renner in the back with Alana. Ninth World Cup start for her. 95th for Alana Myers Taylor. Her 80th as a driver. 558 getaway. She's driving one of the new MUSA sleds. Mark Vandenberg building these sleds in the US for the American program. Saw him at the top of the track there. And they really seem to have picked up and run. Bringing the US the equipment to fight right at the front of the field. Tenth best speed though for Alana. She's dropping behind Melanie Hassler. From 500s up, she's a tenth back. That could be two tenths back, 1500s now. Second best speed. Gets a decent run through the chicane, but she's late off 17. Not sure she's got enough in the tank. How close is it at the line? 1400s back. Fifty-seven, five, one downtime for Alana Myers Taylor. She will be no worse than sixth, and on her first season back, taking a bronze medal in La Plan. One medal so far this season in her return to competition. Spent the whole year on tour with her two young sons. Steadily getting faster and fitter. Well, she's got a little bit of time off now in the summer to enjoy the family. But for now, let's take a look at the fight for the medals. Lauren Alter, Adele Nichol, and Lisa Bookwitz covered by 800s of a second. Lauren Alter in fourth, only 200s out of a German sweep of the podium. And she has 900s in hand over current leader Melanie Hassler. She's got Claudia Schusler behind her. Vanessa Mark is here this weekend, but not racing. 566 get away, they started 563 in the first heat. Clean out of corner one. Pioneers to taps from three, but a little drift on the way down to corner four and into the Devil's Highway. Five, six, seven. And then the eight, nine transition makes that look very smooth. That's good for keeping speed alive. Seven hundreds back. Second best velocity. Whoa, a little late from 12. This is going to be touch and go with Melanie Hassler. Best speed of all. The FPS sleds are very quick at the big numbers. And we get big numbers on this track. Here we go. She's going to take the lead from Hassler. This is her challenge for the medals. Lauren Alter leads 57 2 4. There's a scooter there on the left hand side of the shot. Another of her regular break women over the last couple of seasons, particularly since uh, Vanessa Mark was recovering from surgery after the Olympics. Lauren Alter with the lead, three to go. And that will clinch her the Crystal Globe. All she had to do essentially was finish anywhere with points and she would be the season's champion. Lauren Alter will take her second consecutive Crystal Globe. Last year won the title ahead of Kim Kilicki and Kaylee Humphreys. There's Lara on the right hand side is Claudia. Three to go. And we get to Adele Nichol and Kaya Placide. I have no idea what sort of nerves are going on with these two. But whatever happens here, they had a great first heat. And this is all building experience. First World Cup season for Adele Nichol. Adele in only her fourth World Cup as a driver. She had four as a brake woman, and Kaya in her fourth World Cup start as well. Her eighth bobsleigh race ever. And they're in the battle for the medals here in Lake Placid, a track that they had not seen before this month. Adele digging in deep, giving it everything at the start. 561 get away. That's 500s quicker than Lauren Alter, so she's added to her first heat advantage. Little late off two. Takes a tap into three. 
she must be feeling really nervy. Ninth best speed. Very hard indeed to try and remain calm. Nice 8 9 transition. Fifth best speed. Here we go. She's still got the lead over Lara Nolte, the Olympic bobsleigh champion, the World Cup champion. Shoots the chicane beautifully. Third best speed. Eight hundredths is the margin. She needs to be clean from 19 to 20. How much has she got? Is she going to make unbelievable a medal for a technical? Sean Olsen. The coach, yes, <laughs> she wanted to know. You can't see the time. Unbelievable, her fourth ever bobsleigh race as a driver. And she and Kaya Placide have a medal. You did that. You did that. Well, out of two, a little nervy and a little rocky. And out of three, just a square tap, but then a breath and a chance to focus. Well, <laughs> Lisa Bugnitz, the world champion now, gets underway. She only had 600 in hand over Del Nicola, Great Britain, our current leader. 41 hundreds off the lead. Almost impossible to believe that you could overturn that advantage and win it. But Lisa Bookbit loves to believe. 27 hundreds up on Adele Nickel. Well, she started 549 in the first heat, 550 in the second. Then she started 11 hundreds quicker than Adele, had 600 in the bank anyway. But this is a little bit of a wild ride. Shoots the chicane beautifully, but where's the speed? Only the 8th best speed, can that be right? Either way, she's got a... 200 to the second! And she hits the wall going uphill! No! No! Adele Nichols got a silver medal! No! Well, that matches the silver that she won as a brakeman with Misha McNeil. Back in Altenburg, unbelievable. <laughs> well, it's a crystal globe. It is a crystal globe for Lisa Bookwitz. It's a medal here, but it is a crystal globe. She was the champion in Monobob yesterday. She gets her second crystal globe. Oh my goodness. She was bouncing around like a jackrabbit yesterday. And finally, the dam has broken. But it wasn't a bad chicane, was it? It's one of the best we've seen all day. Oh, Lisa. And finally then, Kim Kilicki and Leonie Feebig. I'm just putting it out there, the last British winner on this track in women's bobsleigh. 2009 Worlds, Nikki Minicello and Jill Cook. I don't believe for a minute that Kaliki is going to crash this away. She and Lainey Phoebe have had too much success together. They have a massive lead. Looking for her eighth career win, Kaliki, her first here in Lake Placid. One race here previously in December 2019. And then last season, she finished in third place. And Kilicki with a massive, massive margin. 553 getaway, but what is the noise this sled is making? Again, sounds like something is scattering away. 76 hundreds up, an absolute demonstration run from Kim Kilicki. Again, driving this like she's an American. What a fabulous looking run. She's going to win this by going away nearly a second, 56.88. <laughs> wow, 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 wow.
What a race. Kim Kinnicky and Lanny Feebig. They win again. And Kilicki will take the silver crystal globe at the end of the season. Well, these two have been so strong. It's their third win of the year, only once off the podium. Seventh place in Samaritz. And that anomaly, that seventh place, ended a 16-race-long podium streak. Look at the shakes. Look at the shakes. Well, that's their sixth medal in a row, including silver in the Worlds. And their third consecutive World, I beg your pardon, their first World Cup win uh, since Sigulda race one. Our third win of the season, and their eighth win after finishing in the bronze medal position in the Worlds, or their eighth medal rather this season. So there you go. <laughs> And the party starts tonight in Zigzags, the legendary bar on Main Street in Lake Placid. It is the end of season. Nobody can drive. Everybody is waiting for transfers. And oh, my Lord. <laughs> Again, after the first heat, I said, who would have thought that Adele Nickel of Great Britain was the one preventing a German podium sweep? Would have thought it would have been Alana Myers-Taylor or maybe Melanie Hassler or maybe Keisha Love. But in the end, it is a silver medal for Melanie Hass, uh, for Adele Nichol. And for Lara Nolte, bronze is more than good enough. Honestly, 50th would have done. But Lara Nolte is our World Cup champion, as she was last season. Congratulations to Lara Nolte. Coming home with another crystal globe to go in the hand luggage. Lauren Alter, Kim Kalicki, Lisa Bookwitz. That is your top three ahead of Melly Hassa, Alana Myers Taylor, and Brianna Walker. And your Greco, Cynthia Appy, and Katy Barr. I have no idea what the silver medal is going to do to Adele Nichols points. Came in here in 17th and goes away in 16th. All right, one place up. But she's got a silver medal in Lake Placid. That's a, a phenomenal result for British bobsledding. And uh, last year, of course, we saw Brad Hall and the crew win gold in the four-man. But it's been a while, as I said. Last British winner here. Last British winners here, Nicky Minicello and Jill Cook in the 2009 Worlds. And that is the last British female bobsleigh medal on this track. So 15 years. Been waiting for this. Silver medal, otters all round. There you go. The most precious otters in Wales. And your winners, Kim Kalicki and Leonie Phoebe with Lauren Alter and uh, Claudia Schuster on the right hand side of your picture. And today, well done, Mark. You've got them in the right position for the graphics. Well done. Yay! And the party starts now. Well, congratulations to everybody and especially uh, to Adele Nicol and Park Placid. What a result. And for their coach, Sean Olsen, and for the whole British Pop Day organisation. Brilliant stuff. Right, four men to go before the party can start. They'll be on ice at two local Eastern, that is 1800 GMT, 1900 CET. We'll see you then. Bye for now.